Hello everyone and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online Guides with me, Rolls Crypto at Crypto Gamer. And in today's video, guys, we are going to be taking a look at the Miramore Incursions that was introduced with the Cold Road DLC chapter. If you do enjoy the video, please like, share and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Now that we travel to Skingrad within the West Weald area of Cyrodiil, what we need to do is we need to find the jobs broker, which is right in front of us here, and she will give us a basic explanation on what is going on with the Miramore incursions. Oh, I'm pleased to see you, hero. The Daedra of Miramore continue to attack Westweald. If you're willing to help out, I can promise you another battle. Westweald is under attack. Daedric incursions from a realm called Miramore are laying waste to the countryside. Join forces with like-minded adventurers, and fight off any Miramore incursions you encounter. Bonesy be praised. It shouldn't take you... Once you start the quest line, you will have to speak to the legionary a wee bit farther. And then after that, you will travel to an incursion point, which, as you can see on the map, looks like a dark anchor symbol. All where world events from the other previous expansions have had similar symbols for their world events which is very handy because it's universal and you're going to know what it is. Now of course once you actually approach the Miramore incursion you'll see obviously there's lots of yellow flashing lights and you're going to have your Miramore Daedra. I personally thought that these were incredible and I really liked the fact that we were teased with this in the Infinite Archive when we were fighting Thoat Replicanum which really gave us a, a wee bit of an insight as to the aesthetic of Athelia's world guys if you've actually done this already if you've uh, done incursions I'd really like to know what your thoughts were on the incursions and if you enjoyed the mechanics and gameplay of it and what your opinion is on the new Google DLC. I would be really interested to see what everybody thinks. So remember, leave a wee comment below, guys. It, it always helps, you know. It's good to see people's feedback from the community. So I didn't think that this was a particularly difficult fight, but it was quite difficult in the sense of trying to figure out the mechanics of it overall. Such as trying to figure out who I was meant to be attacking or what I was meant to be attacking in order to take uh, the main boss out of um, the invulnerability stage or the gold bar stage in effect. So it took me a wee bit of time to figure that out. So I was doing things like obviously going for the boss but quite a lot of the time as well I was taking out tentacles or even manticores from time to time. Just simply so that uh, I would be better on maybe ad control than boss control. Which is quite good with my current sorcerer build at the moment, which I will be doing a video on in the future, guys. But that will be a whole segment for um, different classes and reviews on classes at that point, which I will be doing over the next few weeks. The landscape for this particular area as well was really, really nice. And I also liked some of the finer touches that Zoss had done. So as you're approaching the incursion, even before you get in anywhere near the center of it, you are coming across Miramur Daedra, either fighting with players or fighting with other adds, which I thought was a wee bit of a nice touch. So you can sort of see where the Daedric influence has slowly over time started to spread out from the incursion area itself, which I thought was great. So now that we've defeated, the incursion let's see what we actually got so of course you get your gold and we got um, a mystic skill and even some style material as well which is quite handy for the new motifs that have come out with this chapter so what we'll do now guys is we will head back and we will hand in the quest and we will see what we actually get for completing the quest. So it's like you're getting a double reward from doing the incursion. It is said that Onsi sets a light in the face and a spring excellent work adventurer. So let's see what we get now guys. In now that we've completed the quest we can see what we have gotten from the Skingrad rewards coffer, which will be exciting. And we got a four script 
and the vintage uh, macabre vintage set not bad not bad at all 24,000 damage for 50% of a monster's maximum health it's quite good well guys if you've enjoyed the video I hope that um, you'll like share and subscribe and leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the video and the Miramore incursions <clears throat> this has been crypto gamer guys have a fantastic day peace out